I'm Jeff Wong. I'm from Taiwan. Yeah. And my topic is generating audience. Oh. Oh. Uh, don't touch it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's my agenda. Uh, uh, some, someone, someone, someone here should be know, uh, should know, uh, we have ODF policy in Taiwan, uh, it's, uh, it, uh, it is, uh, our National Development Council, and it, it promotes, it promotes, uh, ODF for men in Taiwan, uh, in public agency. And, uh, yes, you can see this is uh, their policies, uh, public documents for, for this, uh, this policy. Yeah. And uh, you can see this is uh, our national National Museum for uh, in, in Taiwan and uh, uh, their FAQ says uh, you should uh, if you if you see uh, audio files uh, how can you open it and uh, it, uh, it it shows it it shows how to do it. And uh, this is uh, Taiwan uh, ODF, uh, ODF policy in Taiwan. Uh, this is case study on OSOR. You can you can search search it on OSOR for this 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 report. And this is the uh, dance part. But uh, uh, we we have some other problems to solve. You can see uh, we have some we have some reports generated by uh, our public agency server. Uh, that's yes. Uh, you user request. Uh, I want to I, I want to generate a report for something, and uh, it sends to uh, Caesar to me, and uh, and uh, he will uh, use modules uh, on their servers uh, to generate one. And uh, most of our uh, public agencies, uh, their their modules and servers use crystal reports, and and you can see uh, they support more, uh, they support this file format, but. No ODF, no 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 ODF format in this in this format. Yeah, no ODF, no ODF. So um, if if uh, users want to uh, get uh, ODF files uh, by using this servers generated. Uh, what can they do? Covers. Uh, you can see they. You can see they have uh, DLC, DLCX, and uh, PDF. What's no PDF? Okay. So covers them to. 
converts DLC or DLCX to ODT? No. Uh, you you can you can see uh, it is DLC, but it actually is a HTML file. It's it's even not standard DLC or DLC format. <coughs> and uh, because this is a HTML file, uh, you you cannot just uh, convert it to ODF. Because this, this is not uh, a state of command for normal DLC or DLC X. So uh, and uh, and um, because because we have many public agency uh, that have uh, different server or uh, different versions of tools, so it's difficult to. Integrates with other systems, and because we have many servers uh, to do this, and uh, every single server needs to uh, install one repos modules systems, and <coughs> it's hard to manage too too many servers uh, using this. So. If you want to uh, rewrite rewrite this this systems to generate ODF reports, no, it's it's not easy uh, because you have some other some problems to to solve. And yes, you you can see some some issues to to solve it and yeah so we have national development council ODF API service to, to do it and you can see some steps to uh, create these servers and uh, Get repose templates and upload it to that server and using API to generate it uh, to generate uh, our own deep file and you can download and yes this this is uh, our GitHub for this service and you can. Mm -hmm. You can you can see this repo to check our source code. <laughs> what? Yeah. We we have demo server, but it seems. Not, not much time to to do a demo. <coughs> so and we have a template design wizard. It is a LibreOffice extension can be installed on LibreOffice or our NDC ODF application tools. Uh, this is uh, this is a LibreOffice fork and uh, using in our public agency. Uh, yeah, you, you, can, you can check this URL to download or check it, uh, or check it something like source code or its description. And uh, we have uh, 
fabulous design result and if you use that extension to generate a template and uh, you can upload you can upload that template to like, this these servers and you can you can call API to generate uh, that file in the download. Uh, yeah. So you can you can you can try using that uh, and uh, it should be a uh, standard uh, ODT or ODS uh, file. So you can see uh, this workflow become a little different. Uh, originally, a uh, user can send a request to this admin, and they they will use use their servers to generate uh, DOC or DOCX format files. And uh, if you want to get ODF. We have another ODF API server to to be coded to generate ODF file. Yeah, you can see this workflow. And yes, you can see the server side uh, don't need to rewrite to uh, generate uh, ODF files. You can just <coughs> You can just pull API server to generate a standard of the ODF reports and uh, because it's just called uh, API server so you don't need to you don't need to check uh, original server what language uh, they use just send an HTTP request so and uh, you don't need to maintain or upgrade every single server to generate it. And you even don't need to look inside uh, ODF uh, is, is XML, is XML files. Uh, so you can do it. You can do it easy. And yes, so uh, you can just upload a template, a template to generate uh, your wanted files. So your users can be can can get.